Hi, Bio 111 students. This is Dr. Sharice, and I'm here to help you get ready for uh, exam one. So there's a couple of things on your Connect site that I would like to show you, first of all. Um, the first one is this is exactly where you'll go when you take the exam. So you're going to go to the testing center. Uh, you'll receive some instructions with a password. We're going to log into your um, McGraw-Hill Connect site and then click on exam one, and you'll have to do that within the open testing window that's right here. All right, but to get ready for that exam, here are a couple of things that I would suggest. First of all, you could really use the Learn Smart tools to help you review the chapters, and that would involve going into Learn Smart and using two of the buttons that you might not have um, accessed yet as you go through each one of the chapters. So we've got uh, five chapters on that first exam. Chapters one through six minus chapter two. And as this is loading up, uh, if you've been using Learn Smart to quiz yourself as you go along, there's two buttons along the top. One is the recharge button. The recharge button will let you go through and quiz yourself again on any of those items. And then I believe after that, there's a performance item or a performance button. So that performance tab will um, actually tell you where your weaknesses are. So I would really encourage you to use those last two buttons on each one of the Learn Smart chapters for exam one. Let's see if I got those right. They're coming up here kind of slow. So I said you're looking for the, as it comes in very slowly, the recharge button, because usually when you do Learn Smart for each chapter, if you progress through, you'll do the preview first, and then the assignment, and then recharge. So I'm talking about recharge and reports. Those are two great buttons to use when you're beginning to study for the exam. Okay, the other thing I prepared for you is a playlist. Um, and this playlist is the videos that I've been posting each week. And I know that some of you have very, very busy schedules, so you probably have been doing your homework and focusing on getting your labs done and not taking time to watch those videos. I've had students report that t watching these videos makes a big difference in scoring well on the exam. So if you're interested in an A or a B, I'd encourage you to take time this week or two before the exam to go through those videos um, and really reinforce your knowledge and understanding of, of the chapters before you take the exam. So what you'll find if you uh, click on those links are uh, quick links to the Bozeman videos organized by chapters, quick links to the um, crash course videos now being uh, produced by Khan Academy. Um, but these are our crash course biology videos that go a little bit faster paced and both of those are excellent ways to prepare for exam one. The other thing that I would suggest is if you'd like to, if you'd like to um, determine what your potential score might be, you can use this button right here, or this link that you probably haven't used before. It's called View Online Resources. And if you go to View Online Resources, it'll take you to a section of McGraw-Hill campus with additional resources um, for each one of the chapters. And I'm not sure why that link didn't work. Maybe I've been off this site for too long and need to re-sign in again. But try View Online Resources. If you click that after you log in to McGraw-Hill, we'll give it one more try here, otherwise you're going to be on your own, you'll see that you could pull up individual chapters. And if you pull up those individual chapters, here we go, um, first of all, there's a lot of other resources, but I would really encourage you to, to just go chapter by ta chapter and take the post tests. So if you take a post test, educational research shows that asking yourself questions as you prepare for an exam is the most efficient and effective way to uh, prepare for those exams. So take the post tests. If you answer the questions, it'll tell you how many you got right. And if you do that for each one of the chapters, that is a great predictor of what's, how you'll score on exam one. So if you go through most of those and you end up with 70% right um, overall, then I would predict that you're going to get a 70% on the exam. And you might want to dig in and study a little bit more and watch the videos. 
Okay, so those are some helpful hints on exam one. I'm hoping that all of you get A's. Good luck with that. I uh, can't wait to see how well we do. Thanks.